okay so we are back with the next question which is question number 9 so the question is again we are working as a cloud engineer in an it startup called abc limited to host an e-commerce site we have one azure subscription that has one storage account a blob container of file share a azure sql database all within a single resource group so this is already present team member goes ahead and uses another independent trm template to deploy a vm and a storage account so already we had something then we are deploying another vm we want to you want to review or edit or improve or correct this arm template that is prepared by your colleague or team member action should you perform to ensure this so basically uh, already there were some existing resources on top of that some two new resources have been added using an arm template i want to check that arm template which has been created by my colleague only that arm template so here options from the azure portal access the virtual machine bed to get the relevant details from the azure portal access the resource group blade to get the relevant details from azure portal access the storage container blade to get the relevant details this is not possible from the portal you need to use powershell command list to perform this action and arm templates cannot be exported from azure they can only be inputted so here again this question is more about your concept of how to export templates from azure portal or by whatever means it can be api command let whatever so the idea here is that this question can only be answered if you know about specific uh, portion or the specific concept of how to export arm templates so this is very very well defined in this block okay so as you can see this is use azure portal to export a template okay so what it is saying that to assist with creating azure resource manager templates you can export a template from existing resources the exported template will help you understand the json syntax and the properties that deploy your resources to automate future deployments you can start with the template and then modify it for your scenario okay so you can download and then modify there are two options basically to export a template you can export the entire template from a resource group or a resource this option will generate a new template from the existing resource the exported template is a snapshot of the current state of the resource group or the resource within the resource group you can export an entire resource group or specific resources within that resource group so this is one option another is from history this option retrieves an exact copy of a template which is used for deployment you specify the deployment from the deployment history okay so let us see both of them so one option is exporting the template from a resource group here you can see in my resource group these are all my resources i can select all of the resources or one of the resources and then i can get this button export template so this will export all my resources the template for all my resources or one of my resources okay then you can select export a template the template will be displayed and it is available to download and deploy so this is one method but there is another method which is export template after deployment you can export the template that was used to deploy the existing resource so if a arm template was used to deploy the resources that exact template you can download so here you again go to the resource group but here rather than selecting all of the resources you go to this deployment link from the deployment history you select the deployment link that you want to download click on it the template which is used is available for download so as i showed you there are two basically ways as i told you one is from the deployment history as you can see you specify the deployment from the deployment history or you can directly download from the resource group or the resources so on very important thing that you need to understand is that both of them are different for example when you deploy from a resource group or resource template is a snapshot of the resources current state it includes any manual changes you made after deployment say i have deployed an arm template with one storage account and but up, uh, with specific property now then after manually i have changed that property of the storage account when i export the template of the storage account via the resource group and not from the deployment history i will get the new value basically the current snapshot as you can see here it is saying the exported template is a snapshot of the current state of the resource group but here the template only shows the state of resources the time of deployment any manual changes you made after deployment are not included similarly here you can select which resources from the resource group you want to export but here in a deployment you cannot sub select resources any resource that were part of the deployment all resources for that specific deployment will be included you can't pick a subset of those resources or add resources that were added at a different time or add resources that were added at a different time. so here you can see export the template so there when should i use when which kind of method 
when I need to capture changes to the resource that were made after the original deployment, when I want to select which resource I need to export and the resources were not created with a Azure ARM template, then I will choose the template from a resource group or resource. But when I want an easy to use reuse template and we don't need to include changes which I, I have which has been made to the resource after the original deployment, then I need to include the export the template. But anyway, I always need to go via the resource group blade. Here in this case, I want to go with this method, export the template from the history. Because say for example, I have already deployed something, but I don't want that whole thing. I just want the ARM template, this independent ARM template that was created by my colleague. So in that case, what I will have to do, I will have to go here. I will go here, to the resource group. That is why I have to go to the resource group. Then in the resource group, I need to go to the deployments. Okay. Then I have to select one of the deployments from the deployment history. Here I will have multiple deployments. One might be the initial deployment that was done. And then this new deployment by the team member. Then I will click on that new deployment and I will download. One thing I also want to, so here you will see the answer is, B from the Azure portal access the resource group blade to get the relevant details. One small thing I also want to mention here is regarding this include parameter. So you can see there is something called include parameter. So this is selected by default. When selected, all template parameters will be included when the template is generated. If you'd like to author your own parameters, you need to toggle this checkbox to not include them. So this is also a little bit important that you can see. Another thing, there are some limitations. So for example, one limitation is, if you have more than 200 resources in a resource group, it will not work. So if you attempt to export a resource group, basically the entire resource group, that the template of the entire resource group that has more than 200 resources, you will get export template is not supported for resource groups of more than 200 resources. Another thing is that, um, uh, to export resources which are created through classic deployment model, you need to migrate them to the resource manager deployment model. Also, you cannot export template support uh, feature doesn't support exporting Azure data factory resources. So anyways, check this thing and uh, I think this is okay. Thank you so much.